Pennsylvania County surrounds the city of Danville, once one of the major tobacco centers of the South. Tobacco is no longer quite as dominant, but farming is still vital to Southside's economy. It's worth $123 million to the area each year, and that figure keeps growing. That's why both Pennsylvania and Halifax counties have local staff working to promote farm businesses. You know, in terms of looking into the future, um, there are great things on the horizon. In my position, um, I'm working diligently to encourage additional agribusinesses to look at Pennsylvania County, look at the resources that we have here. Um, you know, because it's it's you know right now, it's an open book and we're ready to write the page. Agriculture is now becoming a hot topic in the state of Virginia, from the governor down to the Secretary Haymore, down to the local governments, down to the producer. I think it's wonderful here in Halifax for agriculture. We're doing what we can to support it. Um, we're always meeting with each other, even tourism, even you know the IDA, the Board of Supervisors, the local Chamber of Commerce. We're all coming together and finding ways we can help agribusiness. It is a way of life, and it's a good one. The number of farms in Halifax and Pennsylvania counties has grown from 2,264 in 2007 to 2,289 today. Farm income increased $32 million a year in the same period. Farmers have continued to diversify into other crops and livestock since the federal tobacco program ended in 2004. Aquaculture, row crops, vegetables, vineyards, and fruit, and especially cattle, are raised in the area. And more young farmers are joining the ranks. Ronnie Waller's farm has been in his family since the 18th century, and he's noticing the change. You go to meetings now and you see some young farmers that where six years ago you didn't see that number of younger growers or, or people there, and that makes me feel a little better about agriculture in Halifax. I think there's going to be a lot of opportunity in the future for, for young farmers. Um, there's going to be a lot of land, you know, especially uh, here in Pennsylvania County that that will come available at some point if it's there's uh, going to be a, a young guy there that, or a lady that's that's willing to, to get out there and work for it. Uh, nothing on the farm comes easy. Um, it's it's going to take time and it's going to take a lot of patience and a lot of hard work. Uh, but it, it, can, it can give you a, a good living and, uh, and, and be very enjoyable at the same time. Perhaps the most positive change in the region is the growing farming interest among the next generation. Widener says his office participates in career days for kids in middle school, and farming is cool with the kids. And that's a good thing because, you know, we, we want to get them involved, we want to get them interested, and, and a lot of the kids, again, have no idea what farming is about today. And, you know, it's, it's a lot more technologically advanced. Everybody's got a cell phone, and pretty much wherever you go, you've got GPS mapping on your phone, and that, that just baffles a lot of a lot of the youth and a lot of the adults that are out there who aren't used to that type of technology. So, um, I really do anticipate you know the youth of this county, you know, looking at agriculture as a viable way of life. While other Virginia communities are banking on high-tech industries or military spending to expand, Southside Virginia is staying focused on growing its local economy through farming. And that's a good thing. In Halifax County, Virginia, I'm Dave Miller.